Hello friends, welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage of AWS reInvent 2022 from the Venetian Expo in Vegas, baby. This show is absolutely <laughs> packed. Lisa Martin with Dave Vellante. Dave, this is day two, but really full day one of our wall-to-wall -wall coverage on theCUBE. We've had great conversations the last half day this morning already. We've been talking with a lot of companies, a lot of Amazonians, and some Amazonians that have left and gone on to interesting more things, which is what we're going to talk about next. Well, I'm excited about this segment because it's a really interesting space. It's, you've got a search company who's gotten into observability and security, and through our ETR partner, our research, we do quarterly research, and Elastic off the charts. Obviously, they're the public company, so you can see how well they're doing, but the spending momentum on this platform is very, very strong, and it has been consistently for quite some time, so really excited to learn more. The voice of the customer speaking loudly from Elastic, its chief product officer joins us, Ken Exner. Ken, welcome to the program. Hi, thank you. Good to be here. Hey, Ken. So a lot of us know about Elastic from Elasticsearch, but it's so much more than that these days. Talk about Elastic, what's going on now, what's the current product strategy, what's your vision? Yeah. Um, so, People know Elastic from the Elk stack. You know, Elasticsearch, uh, Logstash, Kibana, very, very popular open source projects. Uh, they've been used by millions of developers for, for years and years. But one of the things that we started noticing over the years is that people were using it for all kinds of different use cases beyond just traditional search. So people started using uh, Elasticsearch to search through operational data, search through logs, search through uh, all kinds of other uh, types of uh, data just to find different answers. And, what we started realizing is the customers were taking us into different spaces. They took us into log analytics. They started building log management solutions. And we said, cool, like we can actually help these customers by providing solutions that already do this for them. So that they took us into observability, they took us into security, and we started building solutions for security and observability based on what customers were starting to do with the platform. So customers can still use the platform for any number of different use cases for how, how do you get uh, answers out of data, or they can use our pre-built package solutions for observability and security. So you're a long, you were a long time Amazonian. I was, I was. Talk a little bit about some of the things that you did there and what attracted you to Elastic? What was, because it was only been sure. a couple months, right? I've been here three months. Three I think months. three months as of, uh, as of yesterday. <laughs> um, and I was at AWS for 16 years. So I was there a long, long time. I was there pretty much from the beginning. I was hired. Uh, as one of the first product managers in AWS, Adam Slipsky hired me, uh, and it was a great run. I had a ton of fun, I learned a lot. Um, but you know, after 16 years, I was kind of you know, itching to do something new, and uh, it was going to take something special, because I had, you know, had a great gig and uh, enjoyed the, you know, the team at, uh, at AWS. Um, but I saw an Elastic, uh, sort of a great foundational technology that had a lot of momentum, a huge community behind it. I saw the business opportunity where they were going. I saw you know, the, the business opportunity of observability and security. Like these are ma massive industries with tons of business problems. Like, you know, customers are excited about uh, you know, trying to get you know, more, uh, you know, more uh, you know, answers out of data uh, about their operational environment. Um, and I saw you know, that customers were struggling with their operating environments and things were becoming increasingly complicated. You know, we, we used to talk in AWS about you know, how customers want to move from monolithic uh, applications to monoliths. But one of the secrets was that things were increasingly complicated. Suddenly people had all these different microservices, they had all these different uh, managed services, and their operating environment got complicated. It became this constellation of different systems all emitting data. So companies like Elastic were helping people find answers in that data, find the problems with their systems. So helping tame that complexity. So I saw that opportunity and I said, I, I want to jump on that. Great foundational technology, good community, and building solutions that actually help solve real problems. Right. So, so before you joined, you probably yep. looked back and said, let me think about the market, what's happening in the yep. market space. What were the big trends that you saw that sort of informed your decision? Well, just sort of the, the mountain of data that was sort of emerging. Adam Slipsky in his talk this morning began by talking about how data is just you know, multiplying constantly. And I saw this, I saw how much data was, was you know, businesses were drowning in, operational data, security data, now, if you're trying to secure your business, you have all these different endpoints, you have all these different devices, uh, you have different systems that you need to monitor, all tons of data. And companies like Elastic were helping companies sort of manage that complexity, helping them find answers in that. So you know, when you're trying to you know, track intruders or trying to track you know, malicious activity, there's a ton of different systems you need to pay attention to. 
and you know, there's a bunch of data. It's, it's different uh, devices, laptops and, and phone devices and stuff that you need to pay attention to. And, the, and you find correlate, correlations across that to figure out what is going on in your network, what is going on in your business. And that's, that, that was exciting to me. Uh, you know, the, this is a company sort of tackling one of the hardest problems, which is helping you understand uh, your operating environment, helping you understand and secure your, your, your business. So everybody's getting yep. into observability. Yep. Right, it's a very crowded space mm -hmm. right now. First of all, you know, it's like overnight, it just became the yeah. hottest thing going, VCs were throwing money at it. Why was that and how are you guys different? Um, well, we began by focusing on log analytics because right. that was the core, of, the core of what we were doing. But customers started using it beyond log analytics and started using it for APM, and started using it for performance data. And what we realized is that we could do all this for customers. So we ended up sort of overnight, over the you know, course of three years, building out a complete observ observability suite. So you can do APM, you can do profiling, you can do tracing, sort of distributed tracing, you can do synthetic monitoring, everything you want to do, real metrics, user monitoring, all yeah, of it. Yeah. Metrics, all of it, and you can use the same system for this. So this was sort of a powerful concept. Like not only is it like the best and leading log system, it also provides everything you need for complete observability. And because it's based on this open platform, you can extend it to a number of different, uh, different scenarios. So this is important. Like a lot of the different observability companies provide you something that's sort of packaged, and as long as you're trying to do what it wants to support, it's great. But with, with Elastic, you have this flexible data architecture that you can use for anything. So companies use it to like monitor assembly lines. They use it to monitor dish networks, for example. They use it to not only manage their, their, their fleet of servers, they also use it to manage all their devices. So 25 million desktop devices. So, you know, the observability systems like that, that can do a number of different scenarios, I think that's a powerful thing. It's not just about yeah. how do you manage your servers, how do you manage the things that are, are, are simple. It's how do you manage anything? How do you get observability into anything? Multiple so, use so cases. sorry, yeah. when you say complete, okay, you talk about all the different, the APM, log yep. analytics, tracing, metrics, it, it, and also end-to-end? End-to-end, -end, yeah. So, so that, it, could you talk about that component of complete? So, you know, if you're trying to um, find an issue, like that you have some uh, metric that goes into alarm, you want to have a metric system that has alarming. Once that metric goes in alarm, you want, you're going to want to dig into your logs. So you're going to want it to take you to the, 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 the area of your logs that has that issue. Once you get to there, you're going to want to find the trace ID that takes you to your traces and looks at uh, sort of profiling and uh, uh, perform, um, mm -hmm. distributed tracing information. So a system that can do all of that end to end is a, is a powerful solution. So it not only helps you, um, you know, track things end to end across the different uh, signals that you're, you're monitoring, but it actually helps you remediate more quickly. Um, and the other thing that uh, Elastic does that uh, is, is unique is a lot of uh, ML in this. So not only helping you find the information, but surfacing things before you even know them. So anom anomaly detection, for example, helps you know about something before you even realize that there's an issue. So you should pay attention to this because it's anomalous. So a lot of systems help you, you know, find something if you know what to look for. But we're trying to help you not only find the things that you know to look for, but help you find the things that you didn't even think to. You didn't know even about. think. And, and it's, it's fair yeah. to say one of your differentiators is yep. you're open. You're open, yeah. open source. I mean, maybe talk about the Elk Stack a little bit and, uh, yeah. and, uh, and how that plays. And, and yeah. Uh, well, so the great thing about this is we've extended that openness uh, to both security and to observability. An example of this on the security side is all the the, uh, the detection rules that you use for looking for intrusion. Uh, all the detection rules are open source, and there's an entire community around this. So if you, um, you know, wanted to create a detection rule, you can publish in open source, there's a bunch in GitHub, you can benefit from what the community is doing as well. So in the world of security, you want to be supported by an entire community. You know, everyone looking for the same kind of issues, and there's an entire community around, uh, around uh, Elastic that is helping support uh, these detection rules. So those, that approach, you know, wanting to focus on community, is differentiating for us. Mm -hmm. Not just, you know, we got you covered as long as you, you use things from us. You can use it from the entire community. Yeah. Well, the, the, there implies the name Elastic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talk, talk a little bit about uh, the influence that the customer has in the product roadmap and the direction. You talked a little bit in the beginning yeah about customers were leading us in different directions. It sounds very Amazonian in terms of following the customers it, where it they go. It actually does. I, it, um, it was one of the things that resonated for me personally is 
um, the, the journey that Elastic took to observability and security was, was customer led. So, you know, we started looking at uh, what customers were doing and realized that they were taking us into log analytics. They were taking us into APM. They were taking us into these different solutions. And yeah, it, it is an Amazonian thing, so it resonated for me personally. Um, and they're going to continue taking us in new places. Like we, we love seeing all the novel things that customers do with the platform. And you know, it's sort of one of the hallmarks of a great platform is you can have all kinds of novel things that, you know, novel use cases for how people use uh, your platform. Um, and we'll continue to see things. And we may get taken into other solutions uh, as well as, as we start seeing things uh, emerge, uh, common patterns. But for now, we're really excited about security and observability. So, what's, what do you see, so security's a big space, right? Yep. When you, you see the optive taxonomy and it makes your eyes bleed because there's so many <laughs> tools in there. Yeah. Where do you fit in that taxonomy? How do you see and think about the, the security space and the opportunity for your customers? Yeah, so we began with logs in the security space as well. So SIM, uh, which is intrusion yep. detection, and um, is based on you know, aggregating a bunch of logs and helping you uh, do threat hunting on, on those logs. So looking for uh, patterns of malicious behavior or, or intrusion. So we started there and we did both um, you know, uh, detections as well as just uh, ad hoc uh, threat hunting. But then we started expanding into endpoint protection. So if we were going to have agents on all these different devices that were gathering logs, what if we also started you know, providing uh, remediation? So if you had malicious activity that was happening on one of the servers, don't just grab the information, quarantine it, isolate it. So that took us into uh, sort of endpoint protection or XDR. And then beyond that, we recently got into cloud security as well. So similar to observability, we started with logs, but expanded to a full suite so that you can do everything. You can have uh, both endpoint protection, you can have cloud security, all of it from one, one solution. So right. security, right. sorry, I'm just gonna, security is a very crowded market as well. Mm -hmm. What's your superpower? What's our superpower? Yeah. I think it, a lot of it is just the openness. It's the open platform. There's the community around it. People know and love the, the Elasticsearch Elk stack and yeah. use it. Like we, we go into businesses all the time and they're familiar. Their, their security engineers are using our product for, for searching through logs. So they're familiar with the, the product already and the community behind it. Uh, so they're excited about being able to you know, use uh, detection rules from other, other businesses and, and stay on top of that and be part of that community. The transparency of that is important to customers. So if, you know, if you're trying to be the most secure place, the most secure business, you want to basically invest in a, a community that's going to support that and not be alone in that. Right, absolutely, yep. that's so much that rides on that. Favorite customer example that you think really, really articulates the value of Elastic, its openness, its transparency? Uh, well, there's a, a customer, Dish Media, Dish Networks, that's going to present here at, uh, Dish, uh, at uh, reInvent tomorrow at 1.45 at Mandalay Bay. I'm excited about their example because they use it uh, to manage, uh, I think it's 10 billion records a day across 25 million devices. So it illustrates the scale that we can support for, for managing observability for a company, but also just sort of the unique use cases. That the, we can use this for set-top boxes for you know, all their customers, and they can track the, the performance that those customers are having. Um, it's a unique case that you know, a lot of vendors couldn't support, but we can support because of the openness of the platform, the open data architecture that we have. So I think it illustrates the scale that we support, the elasticity, but also the, the openness of the data platform. Awesome, and folks can yep. catch that tomorrow, 1.45 p.m. at the Mandalay Bay. Last question for you, Ken, is you have a bumper sticker. You're a gonna bumper put, sticker. A bumper sticker, you're right. going to put it on your fancy, sexy new car, and it's about elastic. What does it say? Um, helping you get answers uh, out of data. So, yeah. Love All it. Right. Love it. Brilliant, Thank short you. and sweet. Ken, it's been a pleasure having you it's on the program. It's been a pleasure being here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing Thanks your for journey with us as an Amazonian now into Elastic, what Elastic is doing from a product perspective. We will keep our eyes peeled, as Dave was saying. Fantastic. The data show is really strong, spending momentum, so well done. Thank you very much. Good to be <laughs> Our pleasure. Thanks, for our guest and Dave Vellante, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in live enterprise and emerging tech coverage.